Greetings, my name is Blaze. I would like to clear up a few misconceptions about the word pagan and the term for modern paganism. Well, first and foremost, the word did not originate with nature-based polytheistic faiths. It is, in fact, a word that the Christians used to describe anyone who was not Christian, basically. Uh, it was basically also used with words such as heretic or heathen, more heathen because they didn't believe that they had any lessons to qualify or classify someone as a heretic. Uh, there are some talk about how the term pagan came from Latin, meaning country dweller. There are words that do start out with the root word that's in pagan, however, I don't know if this is necessarily an accurate description of the word, considering it was originally, like I said, used to describe anyone who was not Christian, who did not follow the teachings of the church. Um, now, we, before the Christians came around, there was plenty of tribal communities. There were shamans, those that got in touch with nature, those that learned the ways of the gods, and everyone had a deity that they referred to. Well, as people got called pagan over and over again after all these years, they kind of adapted it. So, modern neo-pagans, as sometimes they call themselves, usually use the term as an umbrella term, not as a religion, not as a faith, but to describe their religion or faith in an umbrella category, usually, as it is popular known today, to be a polytheistic nature-based faith. Um, however, the term pagan or paganism itself is not necessarily the act of religion nor of magic, but refers to someone who considers themselves out of the mainstream of monotheism. A lot of people today, however, are not necessarily comfortable with the word pagan. I know a lot of people who actually prefer the term eclectic, which applies to more than just religion, but also to musical taste, movie taste, um, anything. It's basically a blend of different things that you feel is most appropriate for you. Um, I believe a lot of modern faith is kind of evolving into that, where people are coming away from the mainstream of, you tell me what to believe and finding out what they believe, which is the root of a lot of the faiths that are considered quote-unquote pagan, is it's about self-discovery, about reconnecting with nature and the gods. It's about finding your own goddess and god, or if you don't want a deity at all, finding out who you are and how you exist in the main existence of all things. So, you hear the term pagan, don't necessarily think it means you know, oh, they're polytheistic, or as some people might think that are a little more narrow-minded, that means they're evil. No. Um, the term pagan is just a word like any other, kind of like Indian. A lot of people will think of Native Americans for some reason, even though it actually refers to the people who live in India. Once again, a misconception because someone continuously called someone by the wrong name. It lost meaning over time, and now Indian refers to a large variety of tribes that are Native American, that have little to nothing to do with each other, that all have their own set of beliefs, ways, and practices, such as the Cherokee, the Sioux, the Cheyenne, etc., etc., etc. Same thing applies to paganism. You have multiple different faiths that can, can encompass, that people use it as an umbrella term today, not to refer to any one specific teaching or doctrine, but to kind of clump them all together. Unfortunately, people like to clump things together. It's not necessarily mean it's accurate. So. Hopefully this gives you a little bit of clarity and clarification on what the term pagan and paganism means. Uh, not a great detail, but just a general overview of history.